A very warm welcome to all of you to the Women's Forum right here in Singapore. Now, my name is Sharon Jeet Lail, and it's truly a privilege for me to be your host over the next two days. I'm a journalist and broadcaster, and I was recently appointed the Chancellor of Bar Spa University. Now, I'm truly delighted to spend the next two days with you because, of course, we're all here to celebrate the theme of change education, education for change, tech as a vector for inclusion. So on behalf of the Women's Forum team, I officially and warmly welcome all of you seated here in the room and those joining online. And in fact, I should say that we are being filmed. So if I can get you all to remain in your seats throughout the sessions, because you may get in the way of the camera. Now, these next two days is going to be truly amazing. It'll be full of amazing opportunities to listen to inspiring speakers and, of course, engage with all the brilliant individuals from a variety of sectors. And they include policymakers, government officials, educational leaders, tech entrepreneurs, climate innovators and pioneers, ed tech champions and youth ambassadors. So if you are amongst them, please give yourselves a round of applause. A really big thank you for all of you to be here. Now, as you know, the Women's Forum was created in 2005. It has emerged as the leading international platform for transforming the power of women's voices and perspectives into forward-thinking initiatives for societal change. Now, this Singapore Forum is an indispensable event. It's welcoming a community motivated to foster innovation and be a true driver for change. And over the next two days, you will have the opportunity to experience plenary as well as discovery sessions, masterclasses, panels, pitches, and hear from youth voices on a great variety of themes. Please, if you haven't already, take this opportunity to discover new grounds, new personalities. This is the place to do so, and you will need the app to help you. So if you haven't had a chance to download the app, please uh, take your phones out, scan the QR code that you see there on the screen right now. Everything is there to help you and guide you through the next two days. And now, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time to raise women's voices and create change, it's my great pleasure to welcome on stage the president of the Women's Forum, Nanette Lafon Dufour. Please give her a very big round of applause. Nanette. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed colleagues, and trailblazing leaders from around the world. Welcome to the Women's Forum Singapore 2024, held here at the Singapore Management University, a beacon of innovation and excellence. It is such an honor to stand here before you today as we embark on this transformative journey around education and tech as key drivers of inclusion. And is it a privilege to be gathering here over the next two days with over 500 international leaders and agents of change in this vibrant hub of progress? I'd like to take this moment to thank all of our partners and speakers without whom this event would not be possible. Thank you for your commitment to women and an equitable future for all. Singapore, with its dynamic leadership and inspirational commitment to advancement, is the ideal setting for our discussions on the critical intersection of education, technology, and gender equality. In a world where technology is advancing at the speed of light, particularly with the advent of artificial intelligence, it's imperative that we integrate women's perspectives into these innovations. Tech has the potential to be a fantastic enabler, and we need to leverage its power to make sure it serves women and girls. But unfortunately, too, it often sometimes, the pace of technological development lacks the vital input of women. Yet it's essential for building a prosperous and peaceful future. Worse, in some instances, technology, and particularly generative AI, could even be amplifying the gender gap if we don't take an active part in shaping these powerful new tools. We, 
as women, have the responsibility to stand up and take part in building the world we live in if we want to play a role in it. At the end of the day, it's a question of responsibility, taking this responsibility and owning it, owning the power to make a real difference. It is our core ambition at the Women's Forum to raise women's voices and share gender-balanced solutions that will shape the world for all of us. Today, we, together, represent a diverse and powerful coalition of committed individuals from all sectors and paths of life. Together, we have the power to advance gender equality meaningfully in all of our circles. Let's all take this back with us and become ambassadors for all women, always. Ultimately, at the Women's Forum, we are here to influence decision makers to act for equality. This is our mission and our mandate. We aim to play an influential role in all decision-making processes across all sectors. As we look ahead, I'm committed to elevating this forum and movement to new heights. Together, we can and will drive change, ensuring that women's voices are not only heard, but lead the way in creating an inclusive and equitable future. Thank you for being here today, each one of you. Let's make these next two days a catalyst for real change. Welcome to the Women's Forum Singapore 2024. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Nanette, for sharing your vision uh, with us. Such a great introduction uh, to the event. We're now, of course, very honored to welcome the Ambassador of France uh, to Singapore, Mindy Tang, to give her opening remarks as well. Your Excellency, over to you. Madame President, uh, Cher Nanette Lafont du Four, dear Mrs. Lily Kong, President of SMU, distinguished guests. It is a great honor and a great pleasure to be with you all today to officially open the Women's Forum Singapore. This is organized this year under the theme Tech as a Vector of Inclusion. As a fast-growing industry with a central role in our daily lives, tech and the digital sector in general provide a chance to tackle global challenges. This, however, cannot be done without a more inclusive environment. We acknowledge the lack of women in tech and the lack of vocations in France, in Europe, and in pretty much every country around the world. We therefore have to find solutions to change the trajectory. And today and tomorrow's forum shall certainly contribute to discuss these new action, new tools, new approaches, and new policies. In France, only 27% of the digital workforce and 15% in the tech area are women. So the government launched a program a year ago at the VivaTech World Trade Fair to tackle this issue domestically. This program supports 20,000 young women from 15 to 25 years old who want to have a higher education in the digital. It provides for career guidance from secondary school individual support and coaching, internships, financial support, and assistance. We do that, but we also know that there are some biases. So the Ministry of Education also provides teachers with resources, resources for dismantling stereotypes and encouraging young girls to pursue careers in science and technology. More broadly, gender equality is a priority for our government. 
The second action plan for equality between women and men for the period 2023-2077 set ambitious measures targeting, among others, the fight against gender violences, as well as promoting a better inclusion of women in sciences and at the top position of public service. Internationally, the French Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs delivers on its commitments through its feminist foreign policy. Achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals, particularly SDG 5 on gender equality and empowerment of women, and respecting the fundamental rights of women as set out in the International Convention of 1979 on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women are a priority for France. Feminist foreign policy is a powerful approach to put women's rights and perspectives at the heart of diplomacy for the benefit of all. It calls for a shift of mindset. Foreign, feminist foreign policies encompasses the equal and meaningful participation of women in all areas, from diplomacy to defense, to security cooperation, aid, trade, and finance, and prioritizing gender when allocating and spending resources. Defending women's and girls' rights online is also a priority for feminist foreign policy, as it is essential to combat sexism and stereotypes in audiovisual media and on social networks. In this regard, France launched in 2023 a multilateral, multi-stakeholders initiative called the Laboratory for Women's Rights Online. It brings together governments and national regulators, international organizations, civil society organizations, private platforms, as well as research institutes and researchers. This lab is both a platform for strategic collaboration, second, an incubator for multi-stakeholders projects aimed at preventing, identifying, and curbing technology-facilitated gender bias balance. The French Embassy in Singapore implements these commitments through a proactive and multifaceted communication online, emphasizing the role of women in every domain, including in sport or violence, or sorry, or science, and is supportive of all initiatives leading towards more inclusivity and gender equality. I would like to thank Mrs. Nanette Lafont du Four and all her team for the organization of this forum, as well as all the speakers and participants for their strong commitments and will to make changes and improvements. I wish you all very fruitful sharings and discussions and lots of success for this forum. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those very energizing words. It truly is an honor for you to be with us here today.